Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of shapes on a cylinder without heart. Let's get started. First, we need a cylinder. When we change the parameters of the cylinder, I think to inside sign up for now. However, if we hope to create more details on the cylinder, you need to get a larger sides count. Because we can't create perfect details with a low side count. If we do that with a low side count, sometimes deformation will appear on the smoothing level. In this case, we don't have the height segment, so I reduce it to the one. I assume you already know that there are several ways to remove a part of an object. At this time, I use the boolean method for that. Before creating the desired shape, we need a second cylinder. Use the rotate tool to take a duplicate one. If you like to boolean with this radius and sides count, you can do that. But I just change the radius value and sides count. I will give the 20 for the radius and I will give the 18 for the sides. I think if you can reduce the radius value, it's good. I will give the 18. Okay, now move the cylinder along the x-axis. I am placing it right here. In this case, as I said, we don't need many sides for the two cylinders because we are not going to create more details. Select the first cylinder and add the boolean modifier from modifier list. If you don't have the boolean modifier, go to the compound object. You can use this pro boolean or boolean method instead of the boolean modifier. Before welding these vertices, add the symmetry modifier and use the target weld tools to weld these vertices. Using the bi angle, we can select all these faces. Alternatively, click on the first face, hold down the shift key and drag the mouse over the faces to the select last one. Ok, delete these faces. To connect these vertices, create the new edge loops using the shift loop tool. Then we can connect them. Go to the modifier tab. Add the cell modifier to get the thickness. Scroll down through the cell parameters. Click the select edges. Add the edit poly modifier again. Hold down the shift key and select the polygon and edge level in order. You can see that the boundary edge lines are selected belonging to the polygon selection. Now we can create a supportive edges for them. Before add the turbo smooth, add the few edge loops for these areas. Finally, we can look the result with Turbo Smooth. I think it's cool. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time with another video. Bye for now.